The Old Testament reading for the second Sunday of Easter is from Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones, and he led me around among them. And behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley, and behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord." So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a sound. Behold, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath. And breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are clean cut off, therefore prophesy and say, to them, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people. And I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land, then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The epistle is from 1 John, chapter 5. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that he has borne concerning his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has the testimony in himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar, because he has not believed in the testimony that God has borne concerning his Son. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 20th chapter. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of anyone, they are forgiven. If you withhold forgiveness from anyone, it is withheld. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the marks of the nails and place my finger into the mark of the nails and place my hand into his side, I will never believe. 
Eight days later, his disciples were inside again, and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not disbelieve, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. O Lord, have mercy on us. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He He is is risen risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Day 29. The doors are closed, and we've been inside for almost a month. We're all frustrated, stressed, and getting angry. News reports are coming out more and more that depression and anxiety are on the rise. Mental health hotlines, suicide hotlines, they're seeing dramatic increases in calls. Domestic abuse is on the rise. Unemployment has exploded to record levels. We don't know what's going to happen next. Will the stay-at-home order be extended again, or will parts of the state and parts of the nation begin to open soon? One of the most difficult parts of all this is the uncertainty of not knowing what's going to happen next. Not much unlike what we hear in the Gospel lesson for today. The disciples were locked in the upper room behind closed doors, And those doors were locked because they were afraid. It was a sensible precaution. Their Lord had been publicly crucified three days earlier, and what was going to stop the authorities or the state or the Jews from doing the same to Jesus' disciples? They didn't know what was going to happen next. But then Jesus appears out of nowhere and says to them, Peace be with you. He proves to them that it really is him. He shows them his hands and his side. And the disciples' uncertainty is banished. And they're glad, for they see the risen Christ with their own eyes all except one, Thomas. Thomas isn't there that first Easter. And when the other disciples tell him that they had seen the risen Lord, he declares that he will not believe unless he sees for himself and touches the mark of the nails and the spear. Eight days later, they're all together again, this time including Thomas, Again, they're behind locked doors because of fear. And Jesus appears again. And for the third time, he says to his beloved disciples, Peace be with you. Now Thomas hears, sees, and feels. And he cries out, My Lord and my God. Jesus says to Thomas, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus is here speaking of you. You who have not seen with your eyes and yet you believe. And you are blessed. 
And in the midst of all of your sorrow, your anger, your frustrations, your stress, depression, anxiety, behind the closed doors of your house, Jesus comes to you today and says to you, peace be with you. And so you would know and that you would be certain that this peace is indeed yours. Jesus sent his disciples just as he was sent to preach the good news to all the world. And God has sent me here and he has authorized me to declare to you the same, that all your sins are indeed forgiven. For Jesus sends his apostles into the world with these words, if you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. What the small catechism calls the office of the keys is given to the church on earth for your comfort and for your peace. St. John says in his first epistle, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. As sure as St. Thomas touched the marks of the nails and placed his hand into Jesus' side, so sure and certain is the forgiveness won on the cross and given to you who believe and you have peace with God your Father. St. Paul says in his epistle to the Romans, therefore since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be no doubt in any of you who have not seen and yet have believed that Jesus is raised from the dead and has appeared to his apostles and who now lives and reigns to all eternity. Behind the closed doors of your own homes, let all doubt, fear, anxiety, and all the rest be gone. For Jesus speaks a better word than the world, peace be with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Amen. The peace of God which surpasses understanding, guard and keep your hearts and minds through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.